Yo, what is up guys? So I figured this would be as best a spot as ever to start the vlog. Just leaving my house right now. So what is up guys? It is Cincinnati Flying Pig Marathon Weekend. Super excited. If you don't know who I am and it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Zach. I own a company called Runner's Empire. It's an athletic apparel brand. And I'm gonna set up shop at the expo. And I'm also a runner, so I'm also running. I'm running a half marathon. So these next couple of vlogs, I'm gonna do probably either gonna be two or three videos. It's gonna be what what is the experience like setting up as a vendor at a major marathon expo? It's not as simple as a lot of people think it may be. Um, like the show doesn't start until tomorrow, but I'm setting up today. Uh, usually you could set up the same day as the show before the whole crowd and all the people get there. But if you have a lot of stuff like me, that's not an option. You gotta go the day before to set up, make sure it's all prepared. That way also you're not stressing out too much. right across from the convention center. It was a little stressful um, getting here just because there was a lot of traffic and the rain, which doesn't make it fun trying to set up. Um, but yeah, just unloaded everything. And then what I do is I just go back in there and take it all into my booth and start setting up. Setting up will probably take me, uh, I don't know, I have a lot of stuff. Um, I would say about two to three hours, depending on how quickly I work and how quickly I can get done. I think two and a half hours would be good. Um, but yeah, it was, I will say, much more peaceful um, loading everything in versus last time I was here at Cincinnati because last time I came at a bad time and everybody was trying to get in and I had to wait. Um, I had to wait to get in. But this was just like, pull in. Like, I had to wait to unload everything. <laughs> this was just like, Hey, park right there, unload. I was like, awesome. So I didn't have to wait at all. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's set the process of doing all these. I will say, you know, with with being your own boss, own business owner, um, there's things you don't like doing. Um, this is one of those things. I don't like setting up the booth personally, just because it's so much easier when I have more than one person. Um, and it just takes so long for me to do it. That's why oh, I need to get my mask. They require a mask in this expo. Hopefully you can hear me on this, but it just takes me so long. I, I, I think that's, that's the reason why um, I don't have any beer here with me. Hopefully in the future when I go to bigger shows, it'll be like that. But yeah, it's just um, yeah, long process. So let's go. Fender pass, all that before everything sets up. So, After about three and a half hours of setting up, finally got the whole booth set up. Finally, you probably saw a bunch of uh, time lasts and stuff, but I'll take you through the entire booth. So here we are as we walk up. Got all the sunglasses. This guy just fell. Got all the socks. Plenty of sunglasses on the bands. The socks, it's not the, not the most ideal way to display them, but I really didn't have an option just because I had so much stuff. Uh, headbands, and then you got the hats, tumblers, um, more style of hats, the sample hats that we were talking about. And you got the two mannequins. These I probably changed about three or four times because um, I wanted to get something, you know, that'll stand out for everybody to see. You know, I wanted to get a product that 
makes you look over here. And I think these do well, especially with that the camo crop as that's probably, those are best seller and we definitely got a big restock in. And then as so we come over here, we come into men's. And then we come into a lot of the sample products that we were talking about before when we talked about in our stories before and a lot of the past products as well. And then we find the men as well. And then all the new fall line stuff. Uh, we got a restock of this stuff in because as many of you know, a lot of it's sold out. Uh, it's still sold out on the site, but uh, we wanted to give everybody who came here first, kind of first dibs of a restock. And uh, afterwards, we're gonna do a big restock for probably Black Friday. Um, and we want men's leggings. And then if you notice these, the tie dyes, that's all that we have left of those. And then it moves on to men's unisex. And then it moves on to the ladies. These are all the tie-dye sports bras that we got left. And then all the summer shorts that we have left. We only have a few of those guys. And then the leggings. And then, like I said, another restock of the fall line for the women's two. Uh, these are the two pocket. And then you move on to, yeah, some more sample products, more windbreakers. And then the middle is kind of a, I do a highlight of kind of the things we want to show off. And things that I think that people will want, especially during these shows. Um, so we got the men's singlet showing off because we don't have many of these guys left either. Then you got the new long sleeves for the fall line. And then on the back side, you got the women's racing. This is kind of the racing, racing shelf, or uh, racing rack, uh, all the women's crops. Um, because you know, it is gonna be a little bit cold, but as this guy's passing, <laughs> it is gonna be a little bit cold, but I know the ladies still like to wear the crops. That's gonna wrap it for setup day. Now it's time to go get something to eat and try and relax a little bit. I'm ready to end this vlog. So tired, it's only six o'clock and I'm just completely exhausted. Um, shade of hotel, just a little bit. Room, keep it simple. Nice bathroom here. I always stay at this same exact hotel because it's about 20 minutes from the uh, expo. Um, but it's good because I get out of Cincinnati, like the heart of it, so I don't really deal with any of the traffic. <laughs> um, so yeah, standard, open room, that's all I need. And the best thing, microwave and a fridge. Yes. <laughs> most uh, hotels, not most, I mean, I would say about half of them don't have a microwave. So super happy about that, nice view. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content and there's plenty more videos to come and I will see you on the next one.